And now, a word from the Boeing Aircraft Company. Hi, I'm Phil Condit, president of the Boeing Aircraft Company. Now, you may have heard that people are finding hammers, wrenches, and other tools rattling around in the rudders of Boeing aircraft. A mistake? No, because this is the start of Boeing's new contest. Tool in the rudder, sweeter than butter. That's right, we've left tools in thousands of Boeing aircraft around the world. Find them and you can redeem them for six packs of new Pepsi One, awesome CD sound systems, or a brand new Geo Metro. And if you find one of our gold hammers, you could win one million dollars. So the next time you're on a Boeing plane and you hear a tool rattling around, reach back and grab it. You could be a winner. Boeing. The airplanes with a little extra inside. for that enthusiastic welcome. Gosh, it's been a real interesting week. I gotta say, poor Boeing, you know? They're getting all that flack for the tools that people are finding stuck in the planes. And the thing is that most of the tools are the ones you would associate with building airplanes. But I mean, the other day, they heard a funny noise in a 747, they looked in the rudder and there was a garden weasel in there. <laughs> what the hell is that? What is that? Boy. I don't know. Has everybody visited the new Pacific Place Mall? People been there? Wow. I mean, that place has really tipped the balance downtown, hasn't it? I mean, remember when the Westlake Mall opened and that was the really cool place, you know, and the, the monorail was extended to meet it and everything and had cool shops? Now, you know, you make the comparison and it's, you know, I mean, on the top floor of the Pacific Place, there's that new Stars restaurant, which is real exclusive. That's the place you might remember where they killed the lobsters last week when they filled, they, they filled the lobster tank with fresh water. I don't know if you... I know, oh, it was sad. Meanwhile, everyone at the tables was dripping. Ah, what is this seawater? And the bus driver went, oh, I know what I did. Oh, my goodness, you know. It's the normal shaking out period for a restaurant. Anyway, stars up there on the top floor. It's the most exclusive restaurant in town. And, you know, over the top of Westlake Center, it's hot dog on a stick, you know. <laughs> It's, no, that's good. I like hot dog on a stick. Anyway, Pacific, they've got Tiffany and Cartier. And over at Westlake, they're selling mint-colored pagers, blacklight posters, and incense. You know, and the monorail's trying to make a left turn. They're trying to, like, just sort of build it out. You know? Well, we've got a great show tonight, but before we go any further, I'd like to welcome a new advertiser to Almost Live. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm calling my mom to tell her I'll be home next week, so I was just dialing 1010721 first to save money. Wait a minute. If you want to save 50% on your next long distance call, you should dial 1010921. Oh. 853 452 772 866 914 192 784 350 549 135 422 7671. Really? I just dialed 1010-921-853-452-772-866-914-192-784-350-549-135-422-7671 before the number, and I'll save half? That is great. Yeah. Did I hear you right? <laughs> that sounds too easy. Now, to cut my phone bill, all I do is punch in 1010-921. 
Uh, no, Sully. You dial 1010-921-853-452-762-866-914-192-784-350-549-135-422-7671. Oh! Hi, I'm Ruth with the 1010-921-853-425-772-866-914-192-784-350-452-7671. Long Distance Service. If you want to save money on your long distance calls, just put this little sticker on every one of your phones. And don't forget to tell your friends and loved ones. Come on, Mom, keep dialing the number to save money. I can't. It's too long. Come on. 350-350. That's it. 549. My finger hurts. You can do it. I don't want to talk to anybody anymore. Mom, don't you want to save money? I just want to go to bed. My finger feels like it's on fire. So remember... Starting tomorrow, add an extra 10 for the same great savings. 10, 10, 10. 921-853-425-772-866-914-192-784-350-549-135-422-7671. All right, stay with us. We've got a great show, and we're coming right back. Are you missing a sock? Then why not call? The Missing Sock Psychic Network, and we'll help you find that sock for just $4.99 for the first minute, and then only $199 for each additional minute. I called the Missing Sock Psychic Network, and the psychic said, have you checked the dryer? And I went and looked, and it was there. And I said, thanks. And then she said, wait, don't hang up. Uh, how you doing? And I said, fine. And then she said, uh, so, uh, seen any good movies lately? The psychic I had was just terrific. She did seem to have a slight speech impediment that made her talk really, really slowly, but that just gave me that much more time to digest her information. Once in a while, she'd just stop talking for like minutes at a time, and I'd say, hello? And she'd say, shh, I'm thinking. She was so great that by the second hour, I didn't even care about the sock anymore. And then she said, have you ever sang that song, 99 Bottles of Beer on the Wall? Come on, it'll be fun. And it was, all three times. Well, as soon as I dialed, I realized the sock was in my gym bag, and I told the psychic that, and she said, oh, shit. I said, what? And she said, gotta think fast, gotta think fast. And I said, what do you mean you gotta think fast? And she said, oh, geez, did I say that out loud? And I went, well, yeah, you did say that out loud. And she said, well, what I meant to say was, um, uh, do you like to swim? And I went, well, yeah, sometimes. And then she said, well, do you swim with your socks on? I went, well, no. And she said, well, if you did, you might lose one. Then you have to call me. And I went, well, that's a really good point. So call the Missing Sock Psychic Network. Or try our newest service, the slowest talking sex line operators in the world hotline for just $10 a second. Call today. Get ready because it's time for exciting new products with Chip Chipper. And now, here he is, Chip Chipper. Hi there, thank you. Welcome everybody and welcome to Exciting New Products, the show featuring products that are... Exciting. Exciting! <laughs> yes, exciting. And today's product is no exception. So, let's get serious. How many of you have problems losing weight? Can I see some hands out there? Yeah, yeah, looks like a lot of you. Well, get ready for the product that will change your life forever. It is the exciting new Fat Be Gone Machine. Isn't she a beauty, huh? So, can I get a volunteer from the audience out there? Oh boy, you, you people are excited. 
Okay, how about you right there? What's your name? <gasps> Me? Yeah. Oh, Brenda Taylor. Oh, this is my husband, Craig. Well, why don't you come on up here? <gasps> Red Rover, Red Rover, send Fatty right on over. Come on. Come on down here. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Brenda? Craig, nice to meet you both. Now, now, Brenda, you've had uh, a weight problem, haven't you? Oh, yes, Chip. I've tried every diet under the sun. I can vouch for that, Chip. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Brenda, your fat world is about to end, and Craig, your dream world is about to begin. Ooh. Yes. Audience, are you ready to see what the Fat Be Gone machine can do, are you? All righty, come on, Brenda. You are just a few steps away from becoming the woman you have always wanted to be. Oh, here right I go, in. honey. <laughs> Okie okay, dokie, step right in the machine there. That's right. Okay, five seconds is all it takes. Audience, help me out here. Let's count it down together. Five, four, three, two, one. Brenda Taylor, come on out. Huh? How about that, audience? Does Brenda look good or what? Huh? Yeah. What do you say there, Craig? Uh... Craig! I'm trapped in here! Craig! Craig, what do you think? Uh, I say that the, uh... Craig! The Fat Be Gone machine really works! It really works! Indeed it does! That's all the time we have for today! Join us again tomorrow for another exciting new product! Bye-bye, everybody! I was thinking of becoming like um, a nurse or something because then, you know, you'd be around like really cute doctors and stuff. But then I realized that I'd have to be around sick people. And I, I'm sorry, but I am not gonna clean up somebody's barb. Uh-uh. Oh wait, what's wrong with my shoe? Shallow, a fragrance for women by Calvin Klein. <laughs> Report. Well, 50 Washington State Patrol troopers have been assigned to stop any trouble during the Apple Cup game between Washington State and the University of Washington next week. Several Wazoo students protested this lack of faith in their maturity by starting fires and turning over cars while running drunk and naked through Pullman. <laughs> Nordstrom held an event earlier this week called It's a Good Hair Day. I couldn't be happier for them. <laughs> The new Highline Community Hospital Childbirth Center has many of the comforts of home, including private rooms with whirlpools, TVs, VCRs, refrigerators, and sleeper sofas for the fathers-to-be. Expecting mothers are thrilled commenting, why shouldn't the fathers be soaking in a whirlpool, watching Demi Moore in striptease, sipping a Chardonnay, and then taking a nice nap while I'm ripping my entire body into a giant stretch mark birthing our baby? We'll be right back with more of The Late Report after this message. You know, the way I look at it, I mean, uh, if a woman or women don't want to accept me for who I am or what I am, then, then screw them. You know, screw them. That's the way I look at it. Dumbass. A fragrance for men by Calvin Klein. Welcome back. Well, State Senator James West of Spokane agreed to nine months of probation and apologized for the telephone harassment of a man to whom he said, You're dead. Senator West admits he did tell the man, You're dead, but then added, Just kidding, and I love you, but the guy had already hung up. Actress Linda Evans lost a bid to prevent a cellular phone tower from being built near her 70-acre property in the town of Rainier. The Thurston County Commission, who heard her complaint, commented that they never intended on stopping the building of the tower, but just acted like it so they could meet her. 
The Edmonds-based Skipper's Seafood chain is testing chili dogs on its menu. A spokesperson for the restaurant says it's a risky move because they have no idea how that high-class Skipper's clientele will react. <laughs> and now with a report about a 43-year-old man who is missing after his Boston whaler capsized in the Strait of Juan de Fuca, we go to Joel McHale live in Port Angeles. Joel. Joel, can you hear Thank me? you, John. The Coast Guard has been searching for the missing man for the last two days to no avail. They fear the man is dead because he had no life jacket and the water is very cold. So I guess you're saying his chances for survival are not good? Would that you're right, be... John. His chances are not good. But there is a slim chance of survival if our man was able to rapidly grow webbed feet and gills. What? <laughs> yes, that's right, John. Gills would allow him to breathe underwater and webbed feet and hands would allow him to move swiftly along the ocean floor. Well, how can you, I, I mean... I know, I know, John. You're wondering, how does our web-footed, water-breathing Aquaman eat? Well, like the majestic baleen whale, he strains small krill and squid through a fibrous network across his mouth. Joel, thank you for the explanation, but I mean, this guy probably drowned. Don't you think? Our fish boy must also defend himself. And like the crafty sea cucumber, he vomits his entrails onto his foe and swims away. Oh, that's disgusting, Joel. But I mean, isn't this all just speculation? Oh, and our Poseidon must also have his own mermaid bride. Joel, the guy drowned. Not necessarily. In fact, the only way to be sure is to speak to the fish freak himself. Aquaman! Aquaman, are you there? Can you hear me? Thank you, Joel. Aquaman? Joel McHale, the boy live from Thank you, Joel. Finally, Linda Smith says she's not sorry for how she ran her campaign and does not see it as a loss, but sees it as standing up for what is right. Smith is enjoying her private life, renting videos, taking cooking classes, and cleaning her handgun collection over and over and over again. This has been The Late Report. Thank you, and we'll be right back. Excuse me, is this seat taken? Yeah, uh, I think they all are. Rejection by your peer group. Well, so I was thinking that maybe, um, if, you know, if you weren't doing anything, that maybe you and I could, like, uh... Indifference you know, from the really opposite busy, sex. That, like, we could maybe, uh... No. So I've been working here for ten years, and I've never really had a raise, so I was thinking, do you think I could have a little more money? What? You gotta be kidding. The contempt of your boss. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was just kidding, that's right. It was just sort of a, like a joke sort of thing. It was just, it was just a joke. <laughs> Sound familiar? Are you plagued by low self-esteem, nagging doubts, and pathetic cringing? Well, here's your answer. The power lens. <laughs> Enlarges your head and your self-esteem. <laughs> See the world in a brand new way. Be the big man. Hey, is this seat taken? Uh, no, it's not. I have a seat. John, right? Right, Yeah, right. Joe, how you doing? Good, good. Yeah. Boss. Ask how for the big way? raise. Well, sure. In fact, why don't you take my job? Be a big hit with the ladies. Well, hey, babe. Hi. You busy tonight? No, not too busy for you. Wow. The Power Lens. Ooh. A big head for a big world. <laughs> Well, that's just about all the time we have this week. If you want to come on, watch us next week where you'll see the return of Uncle Fran. And I want to welcome from Evergreen State College the new Almost Live intern, Michelle Mellon. She'll be filling in with us, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.